back to doing another fat finger demo. Um, auto complete. And it's showing up. So one of the things that, especially if you're a fat finger like me, you want to be able to um, you want to be able to autocomplete functions. So, okay. So, um, so you probably know what that looks like in normal programming. You get a buffer that pops up or something, not a buffer, but a little pop-up menu that shows what you're It shows what you want to autocomplete. So let's get that working. Okay, now there are two packages that probably that most people know about. Uh, I don't know if there's any other. There's autocomplete, which is old, um, but that's what I've been working on and hasn't been updated in a long, in a long time. Uh, I want to eventually try company, which is another newer way of doing it. Um, okay, so let's see how we get autocomplete working. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to want to install it. Yep. And max. max. This. That's weird. And okay. And we want to first, let's get our command list showing. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Command log. Is there a global? There's a global command log. Global. global. There we go. Uh, okay. So let's get into this buffer. Uh, no, we actually don't need to do it. So the, for the basic thing that we need to do is use package. And we want to use auto. Right. Okay, let's run that. Yes. Uh, yep. Let's save that. Okay. Now we have should have auto complete installed, but it's not enabled yet. Now to enable it, there is what we need to do to enable this is. Is so I can find the All right, ensure we've got that. Um, we want to run the config. So if I'm not sure if we talked about the config yet, but config. Let's get into this and make it carry on. And config will let you run um, code after after the package is installed. So for config, we need AC. AC config fault. And we also want to, is there something else we want to run for now? And ah, we also, something very important, I have another video about this, that if you're using fly, uh, fly spell, which we are using, we want to run the AC fly spell, fly spell workaround. That otherwise, it will be really super slow. Okay, that will, let's run this. And so it should be turned on now. So let's see. Let's try using it. And you see that's auto-completing now for our, for our packages. Now there's also a pop-up help 
which for some reason isn't showing up now. Um, then we need to say, why is that not working? There's lots of other backends that you can that you can install here. One of the ones that I like to use is the fuzzy matching. So we can so to get that working, we need to um, install another package which is for fuzzy matching. So let's see if this works. Actually, maybe it, it will install it by itself. Probably not AC fuzzy enabled. I wonder what that's nice that it actually. Now, if it, that actually worked, then I should be able to. No, the fuzzy matching isn't working yet. So, to get it working, you need to actually have the package um, fuzzy. So, there is another um, key that you can use, which is after, and this is fuzzy. This should install for us fuzzy, hopefully. I don't see that it did. But is no doesn't seem to be working also doesn't seem to that is installed yeah was not installed um which is strange which is very strange so I'll have to figure out why that doesn't work. But this is basically the um, setup using use package, but just another one that I want to see. This it isn't going to work well on the, on the terminal, but there's much, there's a lot of other um, like use package. Uh, there's AC, and you can see there's all these other types of, there's all these other types of packages you can do that will give us like emojis. Uh, let's see if this will this will work. Probably not going to work, but uh, so let's see. Then we need to do something else here, which is um, AC emoji setup. Now if we do this, cat. Yeah, it actually works with the terminal. That's amazing. So we can see that we can insert a cat. With the it gives you what the emoji is going to look like. So let's see. My own. There we go. Nice emojis here. There's another package that, that we can use for working with emojis that'll actually replace them. But I am very surprised that it actually works in the in the in the terminal. But let's leave that. I'm gonna leave that in here for now. Um so let's see. So we got to do we've got autocomplete is working, but uh, what's not working is not fuzzy matching is not working, so let's get that working here. Oh. So, uh get fuzzy. Ah Okay, so I'm going to leave this here now, and and that's how basically how you use use package. Very uh, some reason that the keys for making this making this uh, the the switching doesn't really work. Now, there's also something that works weird is when I use Magit, it doesn't let me, um, this, the, that command line thing does that, that command log doesn't work with it. So, let's 
let's commit this. Uh, so you've probably seen how to commit before. You don't need to watch this, but there's something neat that I want to show. I should probably do another video on this. Okay. And now there's something. I'll do another video of this in a second, but I want to do a new spin off branch and we'll call this episode 8 auto complete. And let's push it up. That's not what I wanted. I push to push remote and function. That's again, it should ask for my password. And oh, so a lot of stupidness here. Okay, so that's pushed up on to GitLab and onto a new branch called autocomplete. So you can check it out there. And I'm just going to merge that in, and then we'll be done with this, and I need to get going. So let's just quickly branch, check out branch, make cleanup, merge, and now fast forward, and merge. Uh, oh. Yep. Okay. So that's my... Why not? And nice and set up and let's just push it up and that's all right. So that's auto complete. Hopefully soon I'm gonna check out company and see how that compares. I will do another video on that. Um so let me know what you think. Uh this was probably not one of my better videos, but what are you gonna do? Call to.